chaos erupts after controversial Andre Durrell Jose Uzakatagi ending. Washington was it deja vu for Andre Durrell, or a clean knockout for Jose Uzakatagi? Turns out it was a little of both. Durrell was knocked out a split second after the bell by Uzakatagi at the end of the eighth round of their interim WBA super middleweight title fight Saturday night bringing back memories of his sucker punch by Arthur Abraham seven years ago that changed the direction of Durrell's career. Saturday's stunning ending and the ensuing melee was not the same, but the end result was. Uzakatagi, from Venezuela was disqualified, and Durrell, who didn't get to his feet for what seemed like several minutes, was declared the winner and then things got downright ugly. The confusion in the ring turned messy as a melee erupted outside of Durrell's corner at the theater at MGM National Harbor, then spilled back into the ring when Durrell's uncle and trainer, Leon Lawson Jr., bolted across the ring to Uzakatagi's corner and sucker punched him in the face with a left hook followed by a right that glanced off his shoulder. Ugliness turned to pandemonium, as Prince George's County Police moved in quickly to get things under control. I'm sorry for what my coach has done. My coach is my family, my uncle, and he was worried, Daryl, a 2004 U.S. Olympic bronze medalist, said. He cares for me. He loves me. Please forgive him. Lawson, from Flint, Mitch. Left the scene after the melee and was being sought by Prince George's County Police. Uzakatagi's team later filed charges against Lawson for first and second degree assault. When the smoke finally cleared and it took a while as Showtime's Hall of Fame ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. was pacing for the longest time in the ring, saying what is going on here? With a confused look on his face Durrell, 26-2, 16 Kos, was the new interim IBF super middleweight champion. Uzakatagi, 26-2, 22 Kos, was ahead on two of the judges' scorecards 77-75, 77-74 at the time of the stoppage, and the third was even at 76 all. I forgive Uzakatagi. I forgive his camp. I don't want to win a championship like this, said Durrell, who could get a rematch title shot against unified super middleweight champion James DeGale. I wanted to win fair and square but I forgive him. Uzakatagi felt he was in control of the fight. I felt very good. I was hurting him the entire fight. I felt like I could hurt him any time I wanted. Nothing he hit me with hurt me, Uzakatagi said. I was throwing a three-punch combination and I didn't hear the bell. I didn't mean to hit him. The third punch wasn't that hard of a punch. I was surprised he stayed down. He did the same thing against Abraham that he did against me tonight. He quit against me and he quit against him. I deserve to be the winner. But referee Bill Clancy said he had warned Uzakatagi twice earlier about punches after the bell. The bell rang to stop the round. The round was over and Andre was knocked out with an illegal punch, Clancy announced. So therefore, Daryl will win this fight by disqualification. That's a blatant foul. Earlier in the fight, I had warned Uzakatagi. Daryl wins the fight, he was clearly unable to continue. All I remember was him, Uzakatagi, throwing a shot at me at the same time the bell rang, Daryl said. After that everything was blurry. I remember a shot and then all went fuzzy. Thoughts of Durrell's disqualification victory against Abraham during the Super 6 tournament seven years ago came to mind, when after Durrell had slipped on the canvas and was on his knees in the 11th round, Abraham threw a vicious right uppercut that knocked Durrell unconscious. Durrell was out of action after that fight for 19 months, and has had trouble since getting his career back on track. I'm going to stand up like a man. I didn't win like I wanted to, but I'll be back. I'm going to come back as soon as they let me, Daryl said. 